Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Shinobi 3 for the Sega Genesis, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, now we're going to do stage 6, and this one can be quite tricky if you're not good at jumping. Especially the double jump. You have to be extremely vigilant with it. In fact, it's your best chance of survival for this stage. Don't even worry about saving up your kunais because you get a lot of boxes for more in this level. There we go. Just focus on staying on the rocks. If you see some that are sinking faster, that's a good chance you can get on them. Yeah, use the uh, kunai spread too. At least that's what I call this attack. Because, I mean, you get lots of kunais anyway. You might as well use them if you need to get somewhere where there's an enemy. And yeah, you're going to be seeing plenty of those. Shit. These flying enemies so much. Pick you right off. Pick you right off, too, if you're not careful. Okay, so far so good. I got hit a few times, but nothing too dangerous. I mean, these jumps are quite doable. I'm not gonna lie. You just gotta time yourself extra carefully. Save states if you're a bit paranoid like me. And I think I could have stayed on that rock too. I'll just walk right off of it. Go. Oh, this rock's a bit small. I'm surprised I can hold my weight. That's pretty neat. So cute. Staying on this little teeny tiny rock. Alright, now we gotta take on this mid boss. This one's called Karasu, I think. There, you gotta use like the kunai spread to take it out. Like, get it out of its whirlwind form. Oh wait, it's actually called Tengu, now I remember. There. When it gets in that little feather whirlwind, use your double jump and your attack. You gotta hit it at the right spot, too. Though so sometimes the double jump gets a little too particular. Like, you have to hit it at the right time. Oops. Like right here, for instance. Don't worry about these feathers that the Tengu releases, because those don't actually hurt you at all. They're just there to distract you. There we go. A couple more hits to do. There, it's dead. Once you see those flames, you know it's done. There. Alright, now we're in this little kabuki ghost house. And this one can be quite tricky because some of the doors actually take you back to the beginning. Yeah, they take you back to the beginning. Heh <laughs> oh. heh, These enemies are quite tough because they jump and move so fast. Try to hit you too. You gotta watch out for the spikes. And some of these pillars might have like hidden boxes, so watch out for those. Here, I'll show you. This box, I mean, this door, will take you back to the beginning. And you gotta try not to take out every single box you see, because you're gonna need them for platforms. Shit. The worst part is you got these enemies to deal with. Try to destroy them and when they're away from the box. Otherwise, you might be forced to start a level over because you got no way to get up higher. Is this the right door? Ah, yes it is. Good. Just be extra careful here because that spikes, of course. Shit. Oh, God. There, I want to see what's over here. Oh, good, some power. 
guess I gotta get to all the top of all this. Ah. No, I did not mean to do that. So I lost all my power without getting hit by an enemy. That's for my own stupidness. Ah, fuck. God, I'm almost dead here. I gotta get some health and fast. No, oh, why did I do a double jump? That obviously was not supposed to happen. Okay, so I'm still going the right way. That's good. But man, I'm dying here. I'm gonna have to use my sacrifice ninjutsu. How much further do I have to go to get to the boss? Okay, yes. Clearly, I might have to go a little bit further, like past all this. Fuck. Fuck! Oh, fuck you, game. Do you really have to be that specific when it comes to all this spikiness? Like, what the hell? I'm not even on any spikes! Okay, this way is to the boss. You can go this way further for a ninjutsu, but then you have to go back to the beginning, so I don't recommend it. Okay, I'm gonna have to use a ninjutsu here against this boss, which is Zed. There. I'll lose a life, but at least I can damage the boss. But at least I'll come back with full health. Which is pretty neat. Shit, I hit the fake one. And every time you hit it, it'll use like some kind of daggers at you. Yeah, it's not pleasant, trust me on this one. Sad thing is, you, you barely got any tell at all. Tell which one's the real Zed. That means you had to like throw blindly and hope you hit the right one. And it looks like they both hurt you, even the fake one does. That's the worst part. You got two bosses to go after. Only one of them you can hurt, but both of them can hurt you. All right, now we go to the second phase. This one has more attacks, but it's slightly easier because you don't have an illusion to deal with. Just keep wailing with everything you got. Just watch out for those fans. And all these attacks, too. You can be able to blitz and still kill them. There, it's dead. It's not the uh, fancy way to take out Zed, but it works. He says, it's not all about style for me. It's all about winning. Okay, round seven, the final level. Let's go. This one's just basically a giant airship. That's all it is. There we go. Just make sure you hang on at all times. There we go. Watch out for that steam. The steam is good for your vegetables, but it's not good for you. Yeah, you can destroy those generators like this. There. I'll try to hold on to the power as long as I can. There. Sweet. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot the double jump. Well, that was a fail on my part. Hmm. 
don't know if I can get these. A bit too high. What? I did not mean for that to happen. There. Alright, now we gotta ride this lift all the way to the top. Okay, seems pretty safe, right? Well, until you get over here, and then you gotta deal with these droids that shoot their guns at you. The safe spot is to be right in the middle. That way you can avoid taking damage. Provided you jump at the right time. <laughs> Shit! I wasn't even close! Yeah, jump right into the shot, because I'm a dumbass. There. Ah! I meant to hit jump, too. Why didn't I jump? It's probably right after I fired the kunai, wasn't it? That wouldn't make a lot of sense. I'm going to try my best not to get too frustrated. Because that leads to a lot of mistakes in this game. There. Get all my health back. Uh oh. Jeez. At least we know how much damage these things can take out of ya. Fuck! Ah, oh, come on! This is not even fair! It's like these things keep shooting you immediately! I better get some more health back, because that was just a terrible run, I'm sorry. I'm disappointed in myself for that. At least this one I can duck under. If you don't have power for this, you're screwed, pretty much. Essentially screwed. Especially when I gotta deal with these cannons right fast. The shots are near impossible to jump over because they're so fast. I don't know if you can even block them. I guess if I find another one, we'll find out. Yeah, maybe we won't. Aw, oh, come on! What the hell was that? A drone! Really? Okay, so you can destroy- you can even destroy them. Okay, so it wasn't all that bad. I just didn't have enough time to defend. Oh, you can actually destroy them with your shots. It sounds like something that doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, try not to get too frustrated. I'm at, I'm at the final level after all. Might as well get this over with in style. Aha, picked it right off. Aha, don't get in my face. Because bad things happen. Alright, now I'm inside the air fortress. Next part, we finish this. See ya!